Hello fellow YouTubers. Got an update video here on the uh, Oldsmobile, the 69 Cutlass S. Uh, we're going to be doing a possible W31 clone tribute in the future. Right now, just trying to get it running. And that's what I've been able to do. Let's see what we can look at here real close here. Alright. The carburetor came off uh, one of my Pontiacs 400. Uh, just I knew that carburetor ran, so I took it off there. I had to uh, grind a little bit of that linkage. It was hitting the intake, but it works. It runs. I'm going to be starting it up in a minute here. I changed the cap rotor. I think I put I put a Petronix in there that I had. New wires, new plugs, new hoses, radiator, aluminum radiator that I had from a different project. Chrome alternator that I had from a different project. Parts car, but I knew it worked. So I threw that on there just to make sure everything worked. Change the pulleys, change the harmonic balancer, change the trainee cooling lines. They were really bad. I tried to bend it a little bit out of the way and one snapped. No good. Uh, got a coil in there too. New ground strap, voltage regulator. So did a few things. You got the gas can right here. I'm not running it out of the uh, tank. I have no idea what's in that tank. And let's see here, what do we got? 01, 2001, the last time this thing was registered. Let's see if she starts. Eh, of course not, why would it start? Hmm. Oh. This thing's a mess still inside, I got a lot to do on this car. There is an issue with that switch. I think it's a reverse switch or neutral safety switch on that shifter. And that's why it doesn't uh, always want to crank. And I got this thing jumpered out here to the, the horn relay. But there she is. She's running. I don't think this one will need a rebuild. 64,000 miles on it. She runs pretty good. I think the uh, I don't know what the next step might be. I think the next step is uh, pulling the single exhaust off of it. It's the original single exhaust, what's left of it. And installing a pipes two and a half inch mandrel bent dual exhaust system. That's the next step. And it has no brakes, so definitely got to work on that. All right, let's come over here. We're going to do a little documentation here that I found, which was pretty cool. So I did find the original build sheet. And let's see if you could focus on that. So the build date is March 7th. That's the date. Another cool thing is the paint codes here. We got 50 on the uh... was that lower or upper lower than the upper both fifty it's and we come over here you don't know fifty is cameo white and let's see here the other cool thing is fifty one under st that's cause this car had a hood stripe option and code fifty one is trophy blue and there's a copy of the data plate right there, that Y73, that's for the optional hood stripe. And option uh, B96, that's for the wheel opening moldings. There's the second week of March is when the data plate says this was built. But this is showing March 7th, so I'll have to uh, think about that there. But That's the end of the first week, but this is showing second week, I mean... I don't think it really matters. And uh, what else? Under the W on the colors here is where did I go? It's a ten, and that's for ebony black for the black steel wheels. So let's see on the options here. We got some. Uh, 
There's the L74, the 350, four barrel. And there's the D55 of the console. I'm glad, oh, I found this build sheet under the, uh, let's see, not under, actually, in the back. Bucket seat, passenger side, under the back uh, plastic panel. I never found one there before. I've always found them under the seats or under the carpet or above the gas tank. And I do have a lot of build sheets. I save all the build sheets, make copies of them. I have a lot of data plates. I like the the information that you can get from a lot of these uh, plates and build sheets and things like that. So, and what does that say there? Yep, there's that Y73 for the hood stripe, hood paint. I'm glad this uh, build sheet is mostly here. And deluxe radio. Go, you could look and see the options on this thing. And the automatic training, deluxe steering wheel, power brakes. It's got a bunch of options. The one option I wish it did have was dual exhaust, but it does not have that. But well, the other option I wish it had was W31. So, uh, very cool. I guess I can uh, scan through the rest of this thing real slow here. Yeah, that area is pretty chewed up. And the top corner is missing. <laughs> you can just look at all the different codes and. What does that say? They're Goodyear? So I guess they originally had Goodyear tires. There's the tire size right there. What is that? 775 at 14 inch wheels. It's a really cool car. I'd like to thank uh, Katrina for selling it to me. Uh, I think she got this car off a neighbor. And, uh,. It was a really good deal. It's on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're watching Katrina, thank you very much. It's running, and I am still working on it. The biggest holdup was the fuel pump, believe it or not. Let's see here. Well, we'll go over the data plate quick, but it's basically what you see. The 933 is the blue interior. The Y73 is the, the blue hood pinstripe. The 50 and 50 is cameo white, cameo white, no vinyl top, which is great. I hate vinyl tops. The roof always rots. Uh, let's see, build date, second week of March, and B96 wheel opening moldings. Not sure if I'm going to leave them on or off yet. I haven't decided. And for those of you that just want to see the uh, different paint codes and big colors, this is just a 69 Olds book, 442 book. Alright, let's go back to the... Look under the hood real quick. There's a wasp. Bye wasp, get out of here. Now the biggest issue, I guess I'll... Steer clear of the wasp. Alright, the biggest issue was the fuel pump. It took me a long time to get a correct fuel pump. I ordered one, the picture looked right, it's supposed to have a 45 degree angle fitting for the uh, hard line, wrong pump came, returned it, got another one, different company, picture looked right, sent the wrong pump, send it back, finally the third pump, finally got the right pump, it works fine, as you heard, car's running, and uh, where are all these wasps coming from, might still be from this car. But anyway, uh, so there you have it. Working on this one, getting it running. And then, uh, I guess like I said, gonna do, I got a gas tank for it, gonna put a new gas tank in it, new fuel line, dual exhaust, work on the brakes. Get this thing running, leaving the body alone for now. I'm gonna change the wheels and tires, I'm gonna put steel wheels on it, red line radials, dog dish hubcaps, and, uh, put the interior, clean up the interior inside and get the interior back in it and just uh, enjoy driving it for now.
all right guys thanks for watching and uh good luck with your projects and uh a shout out to steve and uh john there big uh, big j and uh for auto refinery if you're watching this i watch your videos keep it up and i'm going to try to do a little bit more on my videos and uh, i don't know I don't know what else to say here, but it's coming along. I might still pull the engine and change all the gaskets, detail everything. I don't want it to look like this. Clean up the inside here. I'm not going to paint the firewall. Or we, you know, just going to clean everything good. But I will regasket the engine, paint everything, make it look nicer. Now it kind of looks, you know, looks the way it looks. <laughs> looks uh like a car that's been sitting 23 years. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.